Right, first video that's coming up is going to be potting, and then there's going to be a bit of mackereling on the end. And then in about an hour's time, I'm going to put another video up. So you're going to get two videos today. And that one will be basically fishing with mackerel. We had a lot of mackerel that day, and they were huge. So that was a really good day on the mackerel. Although we've had a very good year, actually, last year for mackerel. They were enormous, the mackerel we had. And you just literally couldn't get away from them. You put your line in the water, and you were just hauling mackerel out. So anyway, enjoy the two videos, and uh, yeah, have a great day. So we go out, I'm going to be checking the pots. This one is over there somewhere, you can actually see the sea. But it's quite, it's a low tide today, quite a biggish one. So you want to see what's in it before we get yeah. in. If you start pulling us fast towards the rocks, just slow it down. Don't pull us in too fast because you're literally ramming us forward into it. Okay, keep going. I might have to use the engine to fight against you to pull the pot out. Because that's on the reef of all things. Just hold it. It's on the surface, look. Pull, 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 pull. No? Okay. What's it stuck on? It's out the water. Is it really stuck on? Take this, take this, take this. Female, full of eggs. Put it back. Tired, you can position your pots exactly where you want them. You make them nice and flat. Gloves are good for that. Those orange ones. Yeah. So they got that little bumping on it. it. It seems to clean them. Just to see. There is a way you can wrap it in a rope now, but I haven't got to do a rope. Well, I'll just have that in there. If someone's going to pick up the rope, you might end up with um, Coming up from the 
But I'll gauge it anyway. There you go, just under. See him go down and fall in the other pot. I feel that wind's already starting to pick up a little bit. There we go, we're free. Surprise! <laughs> Tell it's rocky down there. It's not a conga head nick, it's only a little piece. Cram that one up though, it'll be full of shanker next time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Thing is, as well, spring tires, I've, I've never liked them for lobster, even though we did alright the other day. Um, when they cut back, when they start cutting back this week, it should be good, but again, we can't get out, so.
And there you go, six pots, and what do we get in the end? Is that zilch? It's too small. Yeah, six pots out here for two days, and nothing. Not in this big open ocean with all these fish and crab and fish out. That's illegal. Oh God, if that's legal, that would be, be scary. Yeah, look at that. That is legal. And that's about a centimetre oversized, that. Seriously, what would you do with that? I oh, know, yeah, that's illegal. Because that's what they sell on the fish slabs in England. It's ridiculous. Look at it. It's so small. I mean, what you get out of that... <coughs> I can get it off summer, that might be legal, that looks like. Yeah, uh, <coughs> no, I can feel it's going to be too small. Just under, because it's near commercial here. Yeah, just under. There you go, a couple of mil under. Oh well. <coughs> Next year, my friend. The commercial don't get you good. Well, I caught like five or six or ten. But when I came out at dawn, I'd get thirty or forty, and then later on, in the tide, even when the tide came up, sometimes it just died off, you know, as the sun got up and it got hot. It's almost like they they're there, but they just fail. 